everybody. Welcome back to another episode. It's August 2nd, about 9 o'clock here. I just got the uh, dog loaded up. I'm headed over to Austin's house to pick him up right now. I got Slim and my puppy Luke with me tonight. And we're going to go see if we can trick him. Should be able to. It's been kind of dry, but I wish we had a little bit more rain than what we've had. We haven't, we haven't had no good rain here for a few weeks. As hot as it's been, it's everything's pretty dry. So, <clears throat> hopefully, we can uh, get on a few good races tonight. Get some cones up the bark. But you guys stay tuned, and we'll see you at the woods. Hey guys, me and Austin just got out here to the woods. We're getting ready to collar Rage up and my puppy Luke. We're going to let him run along with him and uh, see if they can get in there and get after one. And then after that, we'll uh, put Rage up and go to another spot and get Slim out and turn him loose and see if he can get after one. So stick with us. should be a fun night. Well, Ray just got struck in. He's about 400 yards, so we're going to sit back, listen to him, see what he does with it. Well, Rage is in there walling around for a little bit and finally got treed, so we're going to walk in here and hopefully we see something. <clears throat> well, we made it to Rage's tree here. Right on the corner of this crop field. Yeah, here it is. It's got a whole litter right there. Hey, I see the one right here. There's one right there. Looking, and there's another one right in here somewhere. There it is. Also, said he's seen a few. Yeah, one there. Yeah, the boy, get up there, buddy. You see that one, that other one? That's the cool thing about summertime, because it's actually a, a den tree, but there's two or three of them on the outside. You can see that one right here. Alright. First time I've seen a cocoon in this tree. I've probably trained on it five times. <laughs> Alright, that's a good way to start it off. Get up there, Luke. Get, get up there, buddy. Good boy. Let's get up there and get you a piece of that. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're gonna get on me, get on the tree. Alright, we're going to hook him up and head back to the truck and see if old Slim can get one going here. Alright, we just pulled up here to the next spot. I'm going to get Luke and Slim out and turn him in here and see if he can get after them. Get in 
iron tree made big. Well, Slim, he just got struck in here. He's about 350 yards. Get down. He uh, sounds like a good track, so hopefully he'll be able to work something up here while I get licked to death. We'll see what happens. Slim, he just uh, come treat a, about 30 seconds ago. We're gonna walk in here and see if he's got that meat. He sounded pretty good on it when he was younger. He start he was real choppy on the on the ground all the way, chop on track, chop on tree. Didn't have much of a locate. <clears throat> I was kind of convinced there for a while that that was just the way he was you know and, but now that he's getting a little older he's getting some age on him some experience he's starting to use his mouth different he's a lot more bally on the track throws out a real pretty ball locate and then turns it over into a nice chop i was kind of hoping he would have done that from the beginning so i'm pretty tickled with that but We'll see you guys at the tree. Hopefully he's got it. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. We just got in here to Slim's tree. He, uh, he's got the coon. I'm gonna step back and try to show it to you. There's a little opening. I can, I can get my spotlight on it, so I'll try to zoom in and show that to you. You can see the whole body. I think that about does it for tonight. We're gonna pack it up and head to the house. So I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.